I am currently reading book three of Animorphs, The Encounter. This book is obviously very early, early on in the series, but it is a very impactful book for a number of reasons. There is a scene in book three, The Encounter, of Tobias attempting to commit suicide. Suicide is a very important issue. Today is the World Suicide Prevention Day, 10th of September. And I want to take this opportunity to move aside a bit from Animorphs and to talk about what is a very serious topic. I say move away from Animorphs. It is something that comes up, as I just mentioned, in Animorphs. Animorphs is a story very much focused on guerrilla warfare that is not quite military, almost a, a pseudo-military thing, but for the purposes of this video, we're talking military. PTSD um, is a very serious thing. It affects a lot of people coming out of the armed forces. There are a lot of people who come out of the armed forces and they cannot cope with moving back into civilian life, or as they would call it, civvy street over in the, here in the UK, it's probably different in the US. But I work with a lot of veterans um, and I've heard a lot of stories. Today, Before the reason I wanted to do this video, partly because it is World Suicide Prevention Day, I saw a lot of people today who talked about their experiences coming out of the armed forces and not knowing where to turn and some of them had suicide attempts. And it put into perspective for me, firstly, how, how awful it is to see somebody talking about that. It, it hits, it, it, you, someone there talking to you saying, I tried to commit suicide because I couldn't feel like I could handle life anymore. Thank God they, they've obviously turned it around and they're getting some help and I saw them smiling and, it's, it's good to see it turn around, but unfortunately some people don't turn it around. And that's something we need to tackle. The problem with the forces, the military, and just warfare is that it has a profound effect on people. PTSD is a very sp a specific type of trauma that a lot of people in the armed forces get. PTSD is something that was explored in animals, especially towards the end, especially at the very end, when the war is over and it's not sunshine and rainbows. They finish this war and the majority of them struggle with life on the other side. The thing is some people may read the animal series and see this as a fictional world or something restricted to say the, the major world wars. I mean in this book it's obviously a global invasion, you know, something of a bigger scope. But so many people come out of the armed forces just not the same person they went in. I've seen people going into the armed forces, I've seen people who have come out the other end, and it's scary. It is very scary sometimes, especially the people that have gone into war zones, Afghanistan, Iraq. I've talked to people who were on uh, ships like HMS Sheffield, which was sunk during the Falklands. Things like this, they cause something in, in people's brains and it doesn't go away, which is why a lot of veterans, when they come out of the armed forces, they will struggle to come back into regular life. Maybe not on the surface, they may look like they're coping, but something that people say with regards to veterans is that people in the armed forces are taught to handle themselves. They're given a strong sense of discipline that they should be able to cope with things and not rely on other people. And yeah, for the most part, that is a good thing. But as soon as somebody comes out of the armed forces and they have these issues, these mental health issues, they don't talk to people. And that's something that we need to help them with. If you know somebody who's, say, uh, an armed forces veteran, or even someone who's still in the armed forces, you've got to keep your eye out for these sorts of things because they will keep it in themselves. And it can be a very dangerous thing. 
So although in Animorphs we have these topics, PTSD, slavery, um, war zone brutalities, death, suffering, we have to keep in mind that it's not just fiction. This stuff is happening in the real world today, right now. War, slavery, brutality, just horrible things around the world. We need to keep that in mind and we need to be aware of the people around us. If you are somebody who's struggling with depression, mental health issues, suicidal tendencies or suicidal thoughts, there are plenty of people out there who are willing to give you help. Go to your local doctor or GP or a local counsellor or even just members of your family or close friends. You'll be surprised how many people around you would love to talk to you about it. Not in that way, but love as in they want to be there to help you. Nobody would want you to stay silent. They would want you to talk. It is incredibly hard. I've been through it myself. I've seen other people go through it. I've seen people today talk about how they tried to end their own lives. How they struggled to talk to people around them. And it's terrifying. So when we're reading Animorphs, don't pass it off as fiction. Take away the aliens and the spaceships and the mind control and you have non-fiction. These things are happening in real life. So today on World Suicide Prevention Day, just spare a thought for those who are going through tough times, the veterans who are going through hell on earth. So thank you very much for listening. If you do know of any charities that deal with suicide prevention or, or charities for veterans, I urge you to not necessarily go give them your money, but to just to check them out, see what they're doing and see if there's anything small that you can do to help. Because there are a lot of people suffering and I think if every one of us chipped in with any sort of help or even just spread the word, share an article, I think that can make the world a better place. So thank you very much for listening and I hope to speak to you soon. Goodbye.